Hey guys, Scott here and welcome to The Rogue Review. So today I'm going to be talking about something very different. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Grant Sharkey's Hot Lumps. Now, who is Grant Sharkey? He's a Southampton-based act and it's sort of a sort of a political sort of protest act, very left-wing. And so it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's definitely ours. And the reason I'm talking about this independent act is because I can't get his songs out of my head. I'm currently on tour with Mr. Daniel Eagle over here. And uh, and we're both just constantly singing the songs on this album. It's, it's incredibly catchy. And so, you know, it's these sort of songs that you almost don't want to have in your head because some of the lyrics are a bit, a bit sweary or a bit just, you know, yeah, just a bit, a bit out, bit there. out yeah. there. But it's just, you can't help but, you know, sing along to this. So definitely check out Hot Lumps by Grant Sharkey. Uh, let's talk about it a little bit. So Hot Lumps, uh, obviously that's the title track, Hot Lumps. It's like the first track on the album and it's sort of almost got this weird German sort of vibe to it. It's very weird. When I watched the music video for it for the first time, I didn't quite get it. But then I saw Grant perform it live and his natural comedic wick sort of came through and it's it's present on the record as well. It's a very strange song where he repeats, um, you know, the refrain of Hot lumps over and over again and there's even a bit where he um, pretends to be Donald Trump <laughs> and uh, and it's just it's just a slice of genius this track definitely one of the highlights on it Next up, we jump to the D word, which is track number two, and the D word is um, the D word is it's it's a song about death. And Grant said live, you know, that death seems to be almost the last taboo, you know, because it's 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 the you know the last thing on the list, you know, it's that unifying thing, but it's still really hard to talk about because who knows what happens next. And he um, he really he he when he plays this song, I feel uncomfortable. In a, in a good way because it's it's a serious subject one we should talk about but then he brings in his natural comedy into it and so you go from really serious thinking about it and then I'll yeah yeah Grant's Grant's good at this um, and a lot of the songs in the album do this they, they they start almost a little bit serious and then his just his his comedic punchline lyrics sort of come in um, there's a, <laughs> yeah there's a lot of songs on this there's a there's a trio of songs called the the meat sweet one of them's called the fishery lesson which is sort of actually not really a song it's a short story but it, it really works and then there's a song about chickens which is sort of you know done in the style of almost like a, like an urban youth who's um, you know just like you're not you're not gonna gas me you know I'm a chicken uh, it's really funny and then another one um, which I on here it's called Porco Arco in brackets go on Dave and basically live it's just Grant sort of uh, getting faster and faster and faster on the double bass he's got his bow out it's going back and forth oh by the way I should say the the double bass playing from Grant Sharkey on this album is phenomenal um, if you've ever heard Grant Sharkey before you'll know that he's an amazing double bass player but I think it's taken up a notch on here and especially on Porco Arco it's just brilliant and so live he gets everyone to shout Dave 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 and uh, it's it's the it's the pig song in the album so you can sort of guess what it's about from what I've sort of alluded to there um, and there's another one called Watch Out Here Comes the Counterculture where Grant puts down his double bass for a second he picks up the ukulele and sort of takes the pee out of singer songwriters you know uh, or getting you know drunk in a field you know as sort of almost like a F you to, to the man to the government and it's and it's great it's great and it almost acts as a sort of singer songwriter protesty song while at the same time mocking it which is what I love about a lot of these songs they seem to embrace the sort of stereotype of these sort of the different genres and different sub-genres that he's tackling but at the same time um, sort of undermining them which I think is the brilliance of Grant Sharkey to be honest um, and one of my uh, one of my favourite ones on here is um, it's, it's a song um Called uh, I, well, I can't quite. I'm not quite sure what what the title to it is here, but it's about a flag basically. It's about your sort of BNP sort of um, you know you could sort of type wrapping themselves up in this flag that they love. You know, I can't wait to go <laughs> go to bed, have a sleep, and wake up and wave my flag. You know, and it's just it's just it's it's cringy worthy, uh, cringe worthy. You know, laughter like it's 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 just a slice of genius. This album it really reaches. All sorts of heights and there's even a moment on the album of real vulnerability and uh, Grant's sort of talking about you know when I'm with you I'm invincible um, again I can't find the uh, the track name um, and then it sort of goes <laughs> then there's the twist in the song the comedic twist and I don't want to spoil it I don't want to spoil it for you but it's uh, <laughs> it's 
a good little twist, you know. I th I thought, oh wow, Grant's written this really serious, almost like for like this song about longing, and um, and it, it doesn't turn out to be that in the end. Uh, it turns out to be something far more, you know, devious, but it, in a, a real funny way. Uh, this is an album that I think everyone should listen to because it's addictive. It's incredibly catchy. Like Grant knows how to write a pop song, you know, um, but a really twisted one. And this is Grant's. He's done many albums. His plan is to do 40 albums in 20 years. So that's two albums a year. This is 740, as you can see really close up. 740, yeah, it's in really tiny white letters. But, um, and so this is this is album number seven, and I feel he's, he's barely even, even just got started. This is a, it's an incredible piece of work. So Grant, if you're watching, well done, sir. While we're on the road, we are constantly singing your songs. Uh, I, I hate your songs. They are, <laughs> they are like stuck in my head. Yeah. So, you know, just all day, all day. You're driving each other insane, Grant. You've got to stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop writing such great songs. So please, I implore you, check out Grant Sharkey. Check out Hot Lumps. It's on Bandcamp. It's not on iTunes, but you can go on Bandcamp. And similar to iTunes, you download the tracks. And you can put them on your iTunes and your iPhone, your iWatch, your iPad, whatever, you know, it's um, it's a great album, um, and you can check out the the rest of his stuff. Um, I've been Scott. This is the Rogue Review. This has been Dan, nope. and uh, coming at you from Nottingham. So uh, yeah, catch you later, guys. Peace.